We continue our inside story tonight. We told you about the impact childhood cancer has on the patient and their families. Tonight, we take a look at the people who treat those children. And News 8's Cody Adams has more about how doctors cope with the journey and the loss that comes with treating pediatric patients. The sad truth is not every patient doctors treat at Riley have a good outcome. That's a part of the job they carry with them everywhere they go, but it's also the motivator for them to keep going. Paula Tao has been a pediatric nurse practitioner for more than 30 years. She's taken care of a lot of kids over that time. Oh, Paula's amazing. She's such a nice friend. If there was, like, darkness in my room, she would just bring the light to my room, honestly. It's just something about her that just changes my whole mood. She's dedicated her life to treating children and families going through the unimaginable. She's connected on a deeper level with most of those families, and sometimes the outcome is not what's hoped. A lot of times with the kiddo, especially in transplant, um, sometimes the outcomes are not very good. And so you realize that you are making a difference in those days when things are really tough. It's a feeling she says you never get over. I mean, you never get used to that. And um, yeah, some days you don't want to come back in. Some days you want to just go do something else or just, you know, I don't know, just not, not be here. Um, but then you have to realize that, you know, there are other kids that depend on you. In 2014, Dr. Jody Skiles had just given birth to her first child. When she returned to work, her first patient was our daughter, Maddie. The parallels for her while treating Maddie made it difficult at times. We don't do it perfectly, you know. I mean, there were many days that, you know, it's hard. It was hard for me to examine Maddie and not feel like I was examining my own baby. Um, and so when Maddie had really hard days in transplant, like, I, I definitely don't feel it to the degree that you and Nicole did, but um, it was hard to go home at the end of those days. And when I go home, I would snuggle my kids a little differently, you know. It's an inner battle the doctors and nurses at Riley deal with every day. They may leave the building for the day, but those patients go with them. I could not do this job without my colleagues around me and partnering with me and care and propping each other up when we've had a hard day, right? We, we get to know these kids and these families like they're our own, and we grieve them like they're our own too. And it's helpful to have teammates that um, understand that depth of relationship that we have um, and are willing to support us in it and walk through it with us um, even on the hard days. It takes a lot out of them physically and emotionally, but it also fuels the fire to keep going. That part of my job is the most difficult thing we deal with, right? Um, and that's where my, my family and my faith play a big part in the coping. But I think the other part that it fuels is just a desire that we've got to learn more, we've got to do more. Kind of come back with a burning fuel to say, like, we have to keep going because we have to find better solutions. And when they do keep going, and they see patients like Kendall and Maddie thriving, it makes it all worth it. That is the real paycheck. Right there. You know, to be able to see that child come back and they're doing the things that they want to do. Uh, they're going to school. They've got, you know, they're getting married. They're going on to have their own lives. Yeah, just, you know, that's as good a paycheck as you could ever hope for. A big thank you to Riley Hospital for Children for not only saving lives, but allowing me inside to talk with these people who have impacted so many lives.